Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can set up presets for importing textures inside of Unity 2022. So, especially if you're working on a pixel art game, you might want to change settings like the pixels per unit to be your grid size, so that one unit is equal to the size of one tile. So if I have a 16 by 16 pixel tile, then I would put the pixels per unit for all the textures in the game to 16. And you would also want filter mode point and compression none so that the pixels render crisply. So in order to create a preset, you select one of the textures that have the correct settings. And that would be your PNG file, texture 2D up here at the top. You would go to the top right where you have these slider bars and you would click up here and create a new preset. If you already have an existing preset, you can switch between them by just clicking on the different settings you can see here. So for sprites that have multiple images that should be separate tiles, uh, then I would use multiple pixel art. And if it's just one big image, I can use the single pixel art preset. So to create a new one, you would just click create here, save it in your project somewhere. So I could call this tutorial preset one, and then I can go to the art folder and find it. So tutorial preset, and you can see add to texture importer default. So if you want to make it the default for importing all your textures initially, you can just click up here to add it to the preset manager menu. So what you actually find that is an edit project settings, and then you go to preset manager here. Okay, so currently you can't see any presets, but if I click add to texture importer default, it'll pop up here. So you'll see that there's a preset and a filter. So you can use filter in order to match components by their name or their folder location inside of your project or combination of the two. You can also use wildcard symbols as well to specify for like anything with a file name and then .png as in any file name that is a PNG. So that would look something like glob colon quotation marks and then star for a wildcard .png. And then that would be matching any PNG inside of your project. You can also just type a word like a simpler thing like tile set, which would easily match any files that have the name tile set. And in this list, it's uh, whatever's on bottom applies last. So if you have one preset up here at the top, but then another one that directly replaces it down here, the bottom one takes precedence over the one on top. So you can use the top preset for your standard go to. And then for more specific replacements, you can have them lower on the list here. So let me try selecting single pixel art here. And then on the bottom, I'll select my preset multiple pixel art. And if I have the filter set to tile set, this is going to make it so that anything that I import with the name tile set, it's just going to apply multiple pixel art kind of makes sense because those are going to have multiple tiles. So I click X here. Let's find a folder in my project and I will just bring in a file. So this file has tile set in its name at the end. So I drag it in. Let's click on it. Left click. You can see it applies multiple mode, 16 pixels per unit point and compression, which is the uh, multiple pixel art preset applied automatically. And if I bring this other file in, so clearly if you look at it, it is some kind of tile set, but it doesn't have tile set in its name. So I drag this in, I left click on it, and you can see it's in sprite mode single. So it's using the single pixel art preset because it didn't match the filter for tile set. So I'll also put a link to the documentation in the description of the video, just so that you can see it if you want to learn more ways to filter out different imported objects in your presets. Just really quickly also to point out, in the edit project settings menu it's not just textures that you can put presets to as well but also different presets for importers in your projects but if you click add default preset here you can actually add all kinds of defaults to files you would import into your project so for instance i'm using a sprite to unity so that gives me access to the a sprite importer and i can set a preset for that as well so if i choose my a sprite importer preset then you can see that I can set up the defaults for how those files should import into the project whenever I add them as well. So that's basically in a nutshell how you can have presets for importing images into your project and automatically apply some certain default settings to them so that you don't have to manually change it every time. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in my future video content.